In this video, I am going to show you the best lossless video compression settings for handbrake. At times when you make a video for YouTube, the file size is so large that it slows down uploading incredibly. The good news for you is that there is a free software you can use to significantly reduce the file size below 50% or half the original size without impacting on the video quality. And this software is Handbrake. First, let us go to the original video and see the original size. And here is one I compressed with a different file size without loss of quality. Bring the mouse close over the video to read out the size. Here we see the compressed video is at 151 MB and the non-compressed video at 769 MB. To get such a compression, you need to download your own copy of the free software. You can get it from this link, which I'm going to put below in the description. Go to download and installing is just like for any other program or software. Start the software. This window on the source selection will come up. We'll wish to go to Preferences, which we can access directly down here. But if we do not have this page, I do that by cancelling up here so that we get this cleaner window. An alternative way to go to Preferences is to go to Tools and you can still access Preferences down here. After accessing Preferences, down here where it reads Allow Use of Advanced Tab for X264 Options, check it. Take the back menu. Up here, you can open a folder with a batch of videos and treat them all at once. For our case right now, we have a single video. So go to File, open a single video file. Click on it, select the video and hit OK. Go up here, Browse and select a file destination. Name the file and Select the save type as MP4, then select save. Check web optimize. Under the picture tab down here below, leave all settings for size as they are. Under cropping, select custom, set all values to zero. Then select automatic. Select the filter tab. Leave everything here at its default. Select the video tab. We leave the video codec as this is fine. Under frame rate, we will select the drop down and choose same as source. Here on quality, pull this slider here to have 18. I'm going to put in the description below the theory behind using all these numbers. Down here below, pull the encoder slider to slow. Leave the encoder tune at known and set the encoder profile to auto and set the encoder level to auto. Select here Use Advanced tab instead and the Advanced tab will show up here. Leave the audio at default. We are not doing any subtitles either so leave that at default. Then select Advanced tab. Set the reference frame here to 4. Congratulations, you are now done with the settings. Go now to Add Type in the name of a preset, select Add. You can now find your new preset down here. Select it and go up here and select Start Encoding. The software will run encoding. When done, you will now find your newly compressed video in the folder you selected before. Now compare the size of the original versus the compressed video. Awesome! I hope this video tutorial was useful to you. If it was, please give it thumbs up below. If you've not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing by hitting the red button down below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.